Hello, good morning or good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorials. You're watching Mainframe Practical Tutorials for GCL. So the today's topic would be like ID cans. So and uh, well, we'll be seeing one of the important usage of uh, ID cans that can be used. So ID cans are normally used to create a VSAM files or a GDG files, but we have another advantage of using ID cams. Using this ID cams, we can we can delete a PS file and a delete a PDS member. So how to do that practically? I'll be going to show you by connecting to the mainframe terminal. So here we go. That's here, here it is the main film terminals. I'm connected to the main film terminal, and where you can see a job with the name ID cams, the job name, and here is the comment section, the job card, and I gave a. Here is a description showing like how below steps will delete a physical sequential file, and below steps will delete a PDS member. So, as I said with the help of id cams we can delete a ps and pds member so that's what the steps i'm going to write it the step one exit pgm equal to idm cams uh, if you are not if you don't know what is id cams id cams is the ibm supplied utility or in program which is used to delete a ps file or delete a pds and various other important usages we have so in this video i'm l i'm going to show you the two differences and the two importance of id cams that is physical seek to delete a ps file and to delete a pds member okay so step one the program id cams is print to log to see the log messages of this your pro particular program so i'm using a system design dd name over here and sys in dd star pa pa uh, star dd which is used to pass a parameter to this particular program so here is a keyword called delete and uh, whatever the data set you want to delete it so you are giving that specific data set so with this uh, with this uh, with this keyword or with this command uh, g going to the this utility so it gets your data set get deleted so in the same way we have another uh, step called id cams what it is doing it is is trying to delete a pds member just instead of ps member ps data set name so here you will be giving a pds pds data set and a specific member so before we delete this or before i run this job just i wanted to make sure that if this data set is already be already existing or not so just cross check this data set and look into this so go to 3.4 and uh, all the paste student data yes we have some data over here and we have some file called stu data that is nothing but student data with the student number in this data set so yes we have that in the same way just verify uh, a pds member if you have this pds member or not so okay let's go to 3.4 okay okay and you type it enter yes you have pds and you have two members that is called test1 and test2 so in the jcl i'm trying to delete this test2 okay so after running this job we will see what happens so first i will try to run only the first step so i am ending the jcl over here so that step 2 won't get executed so first we will run step 1 so everything is ready so just to recap once again this is the job card this is the comment section area and uh, you have defined the idm cams the program i mean it's a ibm supplied utility or a program and you are specifying your data set names over here so just try to give a submit enter a submit button over here just submit it yes it's max is zero just go to spool and verify if your jcl or job has been executed successfully this is for cross verification even though you get a pop-up message like job has been successfully submitted with max is zero this is always best better practice to check the logs and see what is happening exactly when i submit this particular jcl so your step one was executed with condition code zero zero that indicates program has been successfully run and you can see a sysprint so here i gave a sysprint dtc.light so as i said it will give the logs 
of this particular program so you can see id cam system services and it can give it will it is trying to print the timestamp and the date and uh, it is trying to generate some report kind of things so it is given at what at what particular time you have run this job or at uh, this program now this is the id cams programs and you have run this at uh, the specific time and the specific date and this is the page one so what are the what are the parameters you have entered i enter this delete parameters okay and uh, this i think that that, that that is a line number uh, yes this is the line number in the jcl so it shows the which on which line you wrote the statement so those the same line number it will get printed and it it has done various actions like entry a it checks the entry in the catalog whether the data set is existing or not then it is deleting in the same way function completed so it is trying to call an internal programs of uh, whatever the ibm supplied is there right id cam so and it is throwing some it is trying to enter a record called highest condition code was zero then id cams processing completed and the maximum condition code was zero so this is how uh, the importance is showing this is how if you are not coding this is print so it won't you cannot see this okay so you can try by commenting this is print and you try can try to run it and you cannot see this is print unless you give it in your jcl so this is this is very very important you need to know so why because whenever any if your programs or if your utility in your utility while running it if it is getting abandoned so you can easily saw you can easily see the messages over here and you can cross you can try to fix it or else you can see the messages over here if the step was uh, if a step has went wrong or something out of 10 steps that uh, the step 5 has been abandoned with some cause and uh, you will go and see into steps is print and you will try to fix it and you will get you will get to understand what is hap exactly happening over there so this is how uh, this is how we deleted this data set so now we will uh, capture this data set and we'll see if it has been deleted or not our JCL is saying that our job is saying that it has been successfully deleted we have cross verified two times with the max is zero zero which is popped up on the screen and we went to spool and we have verified it now the final verification is just go and see it, the actual physical data set so see you can see there is no data set with the student data but we have another data called sort one so I'm checking for student data so it is not there so don't to worry so it's been successfully deleted okay so there is no student data okay then what we'll do is we'll try to delete these ID cams so what I'll do is just I will the comment this remove this and I need to execute these steps too so you know right so if you want if you have 10 steps if you want to write if you want to run from a particular steps uh, we have something called restart command so with the help of restart we can try to run a step, particular steps so I or uh, as I have already ran this step one so just I want to restart it from step two so you could just you can tell restart equal to step two so that it will execute from this particular steps so now we'll see how to delete this PDS member using ID camps so just go ahead and submit it enter yes it ran with max is zero so we'll go to spool but we need to cross verify every time right so go ahead and see here so we can see here okay it says step 2 step was executed condition code 00, zero. First checkpoint is completed go to sysprint and see the log or see the report what it's printing see the program name id cam system services the timestamp at what time it ran the date the page and everything it's going and it is trying to print the parameter which you passed you have passed it in the 16th line so remember test 2 has been successfully deleted function completed highest goal highest condition code was zero and id cam processing is completed maximum completion code was zero so this is how a program works and we'll see if that test two what what did we give what was the member we gave this year yes it is test two right so let's see if the test two is day or not 
yes it's not there right it's no more there in the data set so so this is how you delete your BDS member there are various ways of releasing member but in this video I'm showing you uh, there is other option with using ID camps where we can create delete the data set either you can use IEFBR 14 to delete the data sets or you can use it ID camps so this is one of the way to do it so I hope you got some idea about this ID cam using how do we delete the PS file and the PDS member right so I would be coming up with more and more videos about this GCL practicals or any other videos. If you want to watch more videos about different COBOL topics or GCL, DB2, VZAM, CICS, just to below this video, I have given complete links to these tutorials. Just you can click on those vi uh, links and you can start watching those videos. And also more videos I have posted on practical and I would be coming up with more videos theoretically and practically so in order to don't miss this uh, videos whatever I would be uploading uh, to YouTube just click on the subscribe button so that you'll be getting a notification to your inbox so that you won't miss other uh, videos whatever I would be posting so stay tuned to YouTube channel thank you so much for your uh, watching this videos if you like this video please share comment like on my channel so have a great and pleasurable day